briefly summarize a couple of things that for us here. Um, in our uh, project report, Project Oakwood is a food production project. That's a new project that came to us from our outreach with site selection consultants. Um, you can see the summary there. It's an uh, international company looking for a location in the southeast U.S. to expand their food operations, uh, food production operations. We're looking at suitable existing buildings or greenfield locations. Um, it has the potential to create about 80 jobs in the construction or renovation of about 75,000 square feet of food production. So we're excited to have that project to begin to work that. Project Color, which we've talked about for the last couple of months, uh, I regret to tell you that that project has been placed on hold, so we're going to keep it in that category. We have provided some additional information to the, uh, to the project managers, but it is on hold now for about a 12-month period. Project Maroon, there has been no change there. That project remains in progress as, as is described there. Um, we did uh, some existing industry uh, visits. You can see those listed there. Uh, working uh, with companies from the existing industry spotlight through ex uh, assistance with expansion operations, some of the things that we're doing without the project and again, existing industry spotlight. Um, so those uh, continue to be uh, a successful outreach to us to help companies identify opportunities for expansion and growth and help them be resolve, resolve any existing issues they have. A couple of things on some industry expansions that are going. Um, we'll take a look at Fussell Tire first. You've seen the site building plan. Uh, this is just an enhanced plan that shows you the landscape plan that we uh, we have continued to work and make some improvements to. And if you have not had a chance to drive down St. Augustine Road, uh, try to find an opportunity to do that. That building is coming up very nicely. These are some shots from West Side Way uh, as you go into the park, uh, and some shots from the T intersection interior of the park. Uh, you can begin to see uh, some preparation for the expansion of the roadway uh, that will take place there. And then these are just uh, a couple of interesting shots. One is from across the street, from, um, from the east looking to the west. So that's the frontage that will be on St. Augustine. And then from the south, down towards Lord Jackson, looking north, uh, you'll recall there was about 1,800 linear feet of sewer expansion that we had to make there, so you can see the results of that. Uh, Express Scripts uh, continues to work. Uh, uh, along nicely. Uh, those training programs for their customer service representatives are still in progress and those will work through December of this year uh, and give us about a training of about 175 additional customer service representatives for that program. Project Coal, that's our local industry expansion and food production, is still in progress. Uh, we now look at and existing industry location that uh, we thought might be suitable have now finally apparently made a decision that it would not be so we're back looking at um, a company owned property that we think is suitable for expansion and there's some variations that are looking there but I think we'll, we'll have good success with that expansion. Um, you know that we have a project working up in Hay Howard Business Park, that's Jimbo Bakeries. Uh, just a couple of shots there for you looking from the, the cul-de-sac at the uh, northern end of the park. You can see the uh, curb and gutter work that is going in now. We would expect uh, to see the steel framing coming out of the foundation by the end of this month. And that project will progress quickly, about a 7,500 square foot logistics distribution facility there scheduled for completion in February or March. Um, we have uh, continued to work with uh, Project White Cadillac, that's food, uh, logistics and distribution. That project is in progress. We provided additional information uh, to the company leadership team to help them make some decisions about the construction of the property as they go forward. Uh, just, uh, in closing, I'd like to mention the Community Business and Industry Partnership activity that we sponsored uh, <coughs> this month. That was the Global Agribusiness Opportunity Symposium, which uh, was held in two locations, one in Atlanta and one in Tifton, the one in Tifton on October the 8th. 
Uh, it was well attended. We had reached out to a number of agribusinesses in, uh, in the South Georgia area, and some of those were able to attend. There's some good information about logistics, information, export, import, and actually meet with some buyers from Mexico while they were there. So that was well attended. And then finally, you can see the industrial park acreage update. It's been updated to reflect the present direction. I have two questions, Alan. Let's go back to Express Scripts. Okay. Total number of jobs since we located we, that. Uh, we, in the first round that we did last year, 135. Right. Okay. In this round, we will do 175. And the company is already looking at a third one uh, that we would hope to be able to secure next year. So we're looking at 300 plus jobs with absolutely no on our local environment. That's exactly right. Okay. My second question has to do with, do we keep count of collateral slash temporary slash ancillary jobs as a result of new construction, for example, in the power of that project and with fossil? We do. <clears throat> we do look at those temporary jobs. Do we keep count of those jobs? You know, at some point, I think that, you know, on a quarterly basis, we should be able to, you know, specify and enumerate the temporary jobs that we create in this sure. community. We tend to look at permanent jobs, but I think we miss something by not keeping tabs of those and perhaps even reporting those kinds of benefits to the community. We have, we have kept tabs on them, but we have not reported them, as you're suggesting. I think that's a great idea, so we'll start to do that. And we could report those on a quarterly basis or associated with specific projects because they are significant. Sure they are. 